Then you will commit, will you not, that if war attacking spirits made you faint? No, sir. This is this is a trick to blind. It's not a trick. I I, I used to faint because I uh, I thought I saw spirits. Thought you saw them. But I did not, Your Honor. How could you think you saw them unless you saw them? I, I cannot tell how, sir, but I did. I, I heard the other girls screaming, and you, Your Honor, you seem to believe them. And I, it were only sport in the beginning, sir, but then the whole world cries, "Spirit, spirit!" Surely, Your Excellency is not taken by such a simple lie. Abigail Williams, is it possible, child, that the visions that you have seen are illusion only, a mere trick that may come around? This is a base question, sir. Child, I would have you consider. I have been hurt, Mr. Danforth. I have seen my blood running out. I've been near to murdered every day because I did my duty to point out the death of the people. And this is my reward? To be mistrusted, denied, questioned. Child, I do not mistrust. Let you beware, Mr. Danforth. Think you to be so high and mighty that the devil may not turn your wits? Beware of it. There. There is. What is it, child? I know not. A cold wind has come. What is it? Your Honor, I freeze. I, I freeze. Is there pretending, Mr. Danforth? Girls, girls, what? Mary, do you cast the shadow? She's cold, Your Honor. Touch her. Oh, 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 save me. I freeze. I freeze. I freeze. I freeze. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Don't do that. Mary, remain strong. Do you send your spirits out? Never, never. Mary. Oh, I cannot. I cannot. Heavenly Father, take away the shadow. Ah! Likewise. 
No one shall make one sound, nor raise one gesture, I or nay, to good wife Proctor. Enter. Mr. Cheever, report this testimony in all exactness. Are you ready? Ready, sir. Good wife Proctor, come. You will look into my eyes only, and not at your husband. Into my eyes only. We have come to understand that at one time you dismissed your servant, Abigail Williams. That's true, sir. For what purpose did you dismiss her? Look at me. You have the answer in your memory, and you need no help from him to recall it. Now, for what purpose did you dismiss your servant, Abigail Williams? She dissatisfied me and my husband. In what way dissatisfied you? She Look at me. Was she slovenly, lazy? What disturbance did she cause? Your mother, I... In that time, I, I was sick, and I... My husband is a good and righteous man, sir. He is never drunk as some are, nor wasting his time on the shuffleboard, but always at his work. But in my sickness, I... You see, sir, not for a long time, sick after my last baby, and I... thought I saw my husband somewhat turning from me. In this girl... Look at me! Your husband, did, did he indeed turn from you? My husband is a goodly man, sir. Then he did not turn from you. He... Look at me! Is your husband a lecher? To your own knowledge, has your husband ever committed the crime of lechery? Sir. Remove her mother. Elizabeth, tell the truth! She has spoken. Remove her Elizabeth, I have confessed it! She only come to say my name in this unnatural light and tell. I beg of you, stop this before another is condemned. I may shut my conscience to it no more. She has spoken nothing of lechery, and this man has lied. I believe him. This girl has always struck ah! me. You will not be gone! Be gone, I say! I have got the pain behind the rafters! Oh. Where? Why do you call me all over? Where's a bird? I see no bird! I 
eyes were like coals and his fingers claw my neck and I sighed! I sighed! <laughs> You are pulling down heaven and grace! 